All right, welcome to the 80 meter band. I'm VE7WNK, and I want to show you something that's a bit of a problem right now here, at least in the central area of British Columbia. And I know it's of particular interest to those who are on Vancouver Island and in the lower mainland region of BC. So we're in the middle of the 80 meter band, and what you're seeing is a large data carrier of some kind. It's, we believe it's Stan Egg from CKN, but that's besides the point. Um, sitting here at about 30, well, we're lower sideband, right? So it's about 3730 for us. Uh, incredibly loud at uh, 3729 and, and a few other frequencies that, that fit in this chunk of bandwidth, obviously. The issue that's happening, we believe, and we being a bunch of us uh, who talked on 80 meters and speculated for a while, but it's a little bit hard to, to describe on the radio. So I'm going to show you my speculation in video. So you're seeing this almost candy cane effect where it warbles side to side. Um, it's actually more obvious here in this other image. So it's happening at 3850. It's happening at 3730 and fairly reasonably up and down the band. Now, the radio that I'm using, it's a uh, Air Spy. It's an SDR. Uh, I'm using an up converter to uh, bring it up 125 megahertz so that I can decode it with this unit. But let's see what we think this is coming from. So I'm going to let you hear, uh, I guess it helps if I do this. So you're hearing the data in the background, a little more pronounced here. It's okay. So I think you got the gist of it. Essentially, it's just an irritating noise. I'm going to show you where it's believed to be coming from. Right here. So this is CKN. Now listen to it for a sec again. And you can tell it's roughly the same signal. Maybe a little more accurate if we listen to something a little lower noise floor. Pretty obvious. So these either side may or may not be images. But when you look at this, these definitely are. And you can see that same candy cane, pa that same candy cane pattern uh, that's happening inside them. These didn't used to be here at all. This guy was here and there were a couple other weaker ones. Um, I believe either one of these could be a totally separate station, could be the same one, but definitely these are, are images of it. And this wasn't here a few nights ago. Um, this is becoming so much of a problem that you can see it happening all over the band. And in particular, when we go down into the, uh, to the amateur portion of the band, back here on uh, on 80 meters at 3730 and a few other spots. Um, these ones right here we can ignore. These are noise that are that's local to my to my QTH and then of course that's uh, there's quite a bit of, um, of lightning crashes tonight. Uh, here it's it's uh, mid spring so we've got lots of lightning crashes. But anyway I just wanted to do a quick video to show what the what this looked like and why we are so certain uh, that it's coming from one of these Stanag based data stations these military stations. So just another, just another encroachment onto the amateur radio band. Um, hopefully it's something that they plan on fixing soon. I would assume they're aware of it. Uh, you're probably going to ask me in the comments some more questions about it. So chances are, I don't know if anyone is really dealing with it or, or if the station operators uh, even know. We haven't even validated that it is indeed CKN. So at this point it's speculation, but it's, it's pretty clear. Anyway, thanks for watching this quick demo and 7-3.